Windows 8.1 has some pretty great uh, multitasking features to use in the classroom. And I'm going to show you those in these videos, some tips and tricks you can use for multitasking really efficiently. Now, sometimes you won't need to do that. For example, we're at khanacademy.org, and when we're doing math, it can be very helpful to be writing things down on a piece of paper. You don't need paper for this because they have a built-in scratch pad right in the website. So that brings up this little menu bar with the pencil, the X, the undo button, and this various palette of colors. And so you can go ahead and write your problem down and you could do it even using the same system as Sal Khan does it if you wanted to and go through the steps in different colors and then when you want to change it around you can make your notes right there. and you can start solving the problem that way. This is very handy to do, but sometimes that's not available for certain tasks and features. For example, our uh, HSP math curriculum provides all of the assessments that would be on paper that come with the curriculum, they provide them online in a digital format. That's great, but they don't have those built-in tools. However, Windows 8 does have those kinds of built-in tools, especially with some of the apps that we've installed. So for example, let's say we wanted a, a little scratch board area to work on to actually write down this problem here, rather than having to write it down on a piece of scratch paper. Um, what we can do is we can open another app. So let's say we wanted to open Sketchbook. Now one thing you can do is you can actually switch back and forth between apps by swiping from the left very quickly and just slides back and forth between any apps you have open. If you want to see a list, like let's say you have a bunch of apps you have open, you can pull it out slightly and then slide it back to the left and you can see a list of everything that's open. You've got your main one here and you've got other things in the background hidden over there. Uh, if you wanted to close one and get rid of it, you can always open it up and pull it down from the top and then swipe it to the bottom to get rid of it. So now I only have my two basic ones open here, my web browser for my test and my scratch board. Now that can be hard to go back and forth like that though. However, one thing you can do that's really handy is you can put two apps side by side on your screen and actually work on them simultaneously. So to do this you just pull it out until that bar slides over and then you have room to put it on the side. Now in this case it's too small over there. We don't want it that small. So we would slide this over with the divider bar and you can change the size of the dimensions on your screen until you have one that works for you. Let me use a pen to make it dark. And now I can write out my problem here in a format that's going to be much easier for me to work with. Essentially, I just gave myself a piece of digital scratch paper to work on, and this is a great tool that can be used. Now, what if I can be aided by the use of a calculator, if the teacher allows that? Well, I could pull the calculator app out over here as well, and it'll pop up on the screen, and it's asking me where I want to put it on this screen. Now, if your screen's big enough, you could even have all three of these open at the same time. On our small, limited screen space here, we can't do that, but we have the problem already written down on this side, so we can move the calculator into this window, and it hasn't closed our other work. It simply put a calculator on this side and our work on the other side. And now I can use the calculator as I go along to solve the problem. Now I still need to know order of operations to do this. I still need to know to do division first and do parentheses first. And so students can be rewriting the problem as they go along and solving it as they go, using the calculator to aid them as needed. Again, their test question is still available over here. They could slide it right back into that box, and if they wanted to make it full screen again, they can slide this over and get rid of it. These apps are still open. See, if I go to the side here and pull it off this to the left, you can still see it there. And if I pull it all the way off, over to the side, you can see all of our apps. We've got our main one and our two other ones. So it's pretty easy to swipe, swipe between them with a quick swipe. And if you need to see more than one at a time, to simply pull it out and drag it where you want it to go. Pull it out and drag it into position on the side. And then you can have two and one. Sometimes you need to adjust one side to make it a little bit bigger to make it fit where you want it to go.